This is an example video for the topic, Approximating a Line of Best Fit and Making Predictions. We are going to be working through the problem shown here. The scatter plot shows the time spent texting, x, and the time spent exercising, y, by each of 25 students last week. There are two parts to this problem. First, a, we are going to write an approximate equation of the line of best fit for the data, and it doesn't have to be the exact line of best fit, and b, using your equation from part a, predict the time spent exercising for a student who spends five hours texting. To write an approximate equation for the line of best fit for part a, we are first going to draw an approximate line of best fit. Since we are only approximating and it does not have to be the exact line of best fit, we can do this by looking at the data points and drawing a line that appears to follow the general trend of the points. Remember, a line of best fit aims to be as close to all the points as possible, which is why it wouldn't make sense to draw one way out here or way over there. We're going to draw ours right here. Now that we have our approximate line of best fit drawn, we will approximate two points on the line and use them to calculate our equation of the line. Again, we are not looking for the exact line of best fit, just an approximate, so it's okay to approximate the points. It looks like we can identify 0, 9, and 4, 6 as approximately being on our line of best fit. We will use these points to find the slope of our equation of the line. Slope, which can be represented by m, equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Looking in the coordinates from our equation, we see that slope equals negative 0 0.75. Now we can use this slope in one of our points and plug them into the point slope formula to find b and complete the equation of the line. The point slope formula is written as y equals mx plus b. Using the coordinate point 0, 9, we will plug in 9 for our y, negative 0 0.75 for m, our slope, and 0 for x, plus b, which we will then solve for. 0 times anything is just 0, so this simplifies to 9 equals 0 plus b, or 9 equals b, which can be rewritten as b equals 9. Now we can write our complete equation of the line, which would be y equals negative 0 0.75x plus 9. Remember, this is only one possible line of best fit since we are approximating. It is not the one and only line of best fit. That answers part A. Now for part B, we are going to plug in the given information, 5 hours of texting, into the variable in our equation of the line of best fit that, is rep that it is represented by. For this problem, that variable is x, which shows the time spent texting. We will take the equation that we wrote in part a, y equals negative 0.75x plus 9, and plug in 5 for x. Now we will simplify this side of the equation and solve for y. Negative 0.75 times 5 is negative 3.75 plus 9, which equals 5.25 hours exercising. We can see this point represented here on our graph. This is our final answer for part B and the final part of our problem. So our final answer for both parts is y equals negative 0.75x plus 9 for our equation for the line of best fit and 5.25 hours spent exercising.